As many of you may know, the Freedom Flotilla has had a temporary setback. This is what happened. As hundreds of people were in Istanbul ready to set sail and millions of you were following around the world, we learned that the Republic of Guinea-Bissau had withdrawn its flag from two of our ships. The cargo ship loaded with over 5,000 tons of aid as well as our lead passenger vessel. Without a flag, we can't sail. Sadly, Guinea-Bissau succumbed to Israeli pressure and has become complicit in Israel's illegal blockade and deliberate starvation and genocide of the Palestinian people. But this is not the end. This is not our first time dealing with Israeli attempts at bureaucratic sabotage. It has previously bribed countries to prevent us from leaving port. It has threatened insurance agencies from insuring our ships, and it has even physically sabotaged our vessels. Each time we have come back, we have not given up on the attempt to reach the people of Gaza, to break Israel's illegal blockade, and we will come back this time also. We are pursuing the withdrawal of our flags, both legally and politically, at the same time that we are urgently working to reflag our ships. We have been set back by a few weeks, but we will come back reflagged and stronger. All of the people who were here ready to sail are going back to educate, to mobilize, and to come back when we announce a new sail. You can help us come back stronger. Please follow us on our website and social media. Please share information that we are putting out especially about what is happening in Gaza and the devastating effect of Israel's illegal siege. Please donate if you can, and if you are able to, apply to join us so that when we set sail, you will be with us. 